been fascinated by the world of architecture even in my young age. I started to draw building, I started to draw structure, and this is the reason why I want to pursue this career. And also to pursue this career, I have a long-term goal because, because it is very important to pursue any kinds of career in our life. My long-term goal is I want to develop my skills, I want to develop my creativity, and also I want to develop to think critically. And I want also to know more, to learn more, especially for our industries. And the environment in which is built, the climate, natural, landscape, and available building material are just a few factors that can influence the design of a building. And the practical approach is the practical design strategy. It is the most popular. The practical approach is a reasonable solution to design everyday buildings. I experienced to work collaboratively with my family to make a plan, to make a house plan, to make a design for our house, for our own house family. And I can call it as my own exploration. Furthermore, I am happy and I am so very happy because I have a little bit of idea for the career that I aim for. But still for me, it is really important is to starting one is to be clear about the goal for the very beginning and to make a plan. I also like to face the most difficult parts of the projects in early. And that way, if any important issues arise, I still have a plenty of time to finish before the deadline. Remember, detailed planning is very important to ensure that an important project goes smoothly. As an upcoming student of architecture, first, I need to define the problem in order to find a solution. Second, is to talk what is the root of the problem, what is the root or what is the cause of the problem. For the third is to create a plan, to create a step by step for us to have a peaceful peace. It is the sustainable architecture seek to minimize the negative environmental impact of buildings by enhancing efficiency and moderation in the use of material, energy, and development space. This, this idea is to ensure that our actions and decisions today not inhibit the opportunities of the future generation. Working collaboratively with other professionals, for me as an architect, this could be the first, this could be the one handful reason why some professionals find it difficult to work with. Also, as an architecture, it is important to become a well-rounded designer and members. As an architecture, I'm not naturally efficient under pressure, but it is something that I have learned in my own experience. I tend to embrace working under pressure because it forced me to, be, to become a best version of myself and act quickly and to know how to manage my time. As an architecture, we need to know, we need to learn how to manage our time. Today, in our generation, Advanced technologies or new technologies is some upcoming and also it has a big impact as an architecture, as pursuing the course of architecture. It helped me to explore every architectural breakthrough in technology have guided the way for architect from ancient civilization in technology. Continually develops, it allows us to think more creatively and bring more as one mind by the help of our advanced technologies. Yes, I highly agree and I am assured, I'm highly assured because I have skills in drawing and experience to join any kinds of competition like poster making and charcoal painting and painting in our school and I am the one also the representative of our uh, camp school campus 